month I just try to to do my my routines uh, in terms of uh, working a little bit on the gym I am lucky that um, mm, my my people from from my academy send me the some some uh, machines from the from from the gym and I am able to to work a little bit here here at home so um, happy to to be able to keep working a little bit uh, on my on my fitness and I am trying to to keep enjoying uh, the cooking or just to spending time with with my wife uh, well uh, that's the things that uh, that's the thing that we can do today, no? so nothing else. But yes, have been uh, some tough period of time, especially the first couple of weeks have been difficult for me to understand how the things uh, evolve and uh, it was impossible for me to, to stay positive uh, watching every day on the news all the people who, who were suffering that much. No? So now uh, I think even if still a, a sad moment because everybody uh, is suffering this pandemic worldwide uh, seems like in some places uh, things start to be a little bit uh, less negative now so that's give me positive energy too and i i find my my routines uh, and i'm a little bit more more positive i i enjoy it this this time trying to to stay in touch uh, with uh, with my foundation, uh, knowing that um, today uh, we are even uh, through these uh, very hard times, uh, my foundation is uh, is not stopping the work. So we are trying to to keep helping the families. For example, uh, in in Palma, we are we are helping the the families uh, in terms of uh, basic products. Uh, families who are uh, taking advantage of our product project in in Palma we are sending them uh, food uh, hygienic products uh, and just try to be in touch and make sure that they we are able to cover the things that they they need you know and in another project we are sending uh, to to the kids the scholar scholar material uh, because uh, they don't have the opportunity to to keep working online from their home so uh, we are making sure that they have the things that they need so something that uh, I think is is important uh, in this very tough period of time and at the same time you know I'm um, I'm in touch with uh, with the people of uh, of Red Cross that we we started the, the initiative uh, with Pau Gasol and have been a, an important success. Uh, happy that uh, we are raising a lot of uh, important money uh, for for the cause and uh, I'm super happy that uh, the rest of uh, of sportsmen in in Spain, the world of sport stays together to try to to support the the initiative. Now I can't thank enough uh, my colleagues for for their support and uh, not only the world of sport. Uh, everyone have been very positive about the project and supporting. So um, super happy for that, and uh, we really hope to to keep encouraging the the people to to keep supporting all the initiatives. To, to help and to, to try to to overcome this uh, very tough situation. At the same time, I have been uh, in touch with the, with the kids on, on my academy that they are com confined there since one month and something. So <laughs> I am super proud about the, the work that, uh, that my team is doing inside the academy. Uh, there is uh, 70 uh, workers uh, inside the academy uh, and 85 kids inside the academy you know, since the beginning of the quarantine. So um, they are doing a great job. They are following the rules. Uh, I have been in touch with them, uh, with the coaches. I have been in touch with the kids uh, and I enjoyed this period of time to to try to be in touch with the parents too because uh, during this uh, 
times I think parents uh, needs to make sure that uh, their children uh, are safe and that in the in the best hands possible and uh, we can't uh, we can't stop working and working to make sure that this is happening no so uh, yeah uh, have been a, a great conversation with the parents uh, I think very productive and um, just uh, making them know that uh, we are following the the rules uh, of the of the authorities and we are making sure that we take all the prevention possible to to make sure the the kids are healthy and in the best hands possible so that's something that I am I am very proud yeah uh, yeah it's, it's, it's tough to be to be watching every day how many families how many how many people uh, are losing uh, one member of their family and even they cannot say goodbye so it's something that is uh, I can't imagine something like this. How 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 tough this this is. So uh, all my support for all this for all these families, uh, especially for these families, but at the same time for the families that uh, that some of their members are losing their jobs. No, uh, it's true that uh, we are suffering uh, a sanitary crisis with the COVID, but at the same time, it's true that the economical crisis is a is a big issue to know today and in the future. No, going to be a lot of people that they're gonna lose their job, and uh, it's the moment to stay together uh, to try to to make sure that uh, we we work hard to avoid all these disasters or. I know avoid is impossible, but to minimize uh, the impact of this situation. So we we're gonna make sure that uh, that not gonna be because we are not working hard uh, to avoid this situation. And uh, I want to say some words in Spanish because I didn't. Uh, hola a todos. Eh, nada, simplemente. Eh, deciros que estoy feliz de estar aquí con todos vosotros eh, es mi primer Instagram Live eh, que he hecho en, en mi vida y, y es algo nuevo para mí pero bueno, estoy eh, feliz eh, de, de poder compartir con vosotros un, un ratito y, y la realidad es que en estos momentos tan duros que, que estamos viviendo pues es bueno también pasar un, un rato de... De, de distracción y, y la verdad que me alegra de poder compartirlo con, con todos con todos vosotros eh, deciros que desde, desde que he empezado el, el, el confinamiento pues eh, desde la fundación no hemos parado de, de, de buscar también soluciones para, para, eh, para atender a las familias que están que se están viendo beneficiadas de nuestros proyectos lo he dicho en inglés pero lo digo en español eh, a las familias que, que acuden a nuestro centro de Palma, pues eh, les damos eh, ayuda alimenticia y, y, y de higiene para, para, para asegurarnos de que no les falta de nada en, esto, en este periodo, en este periodo de, de, de alta dificultad para, para todos nosotros. Mm. Estamos trabajando para, para ayudarles en, en todo lo que, lo que les podamos ayudar, en todo lo que necesiten y seguimos en contacto con las familias para, para asegurarnos de que, de que están bien y bien atendidas. En, en otro proyecto en Valencia pues eh, les hemos eh, dado packs escolares porque hay muchos de, de los niños y niñas que están en, en, en nuestros centros pues que no tienen acceso a, a internet y no pueden seguir eh, estudiando por a través online, o sea que intentamos que, que no les falte el material escolar en estos momentos que, que ellos pues no pueden acudir al colegio, ¿no? o sea que intentamos cuidar a, a la gente que se beneficia de nuestros, de nuestros proyectos y, y no paramos de, de buscar soluciones para, para intentar que ellos se sientan bien atendidos. También he estado aprovechando para, para, para estar en contacto con los chicos que están en la academia, que son 85 y también tenemos a 70 eh, trabajadores confinados dentro desde que empezó la, la cuarentena 
y nada, estoy muy muy orgulloso de tanto de los niños como de los entrenadores y psicólogos, preparadores físicos, fisioterapeutas que se han, que se han quedado dentro. ¿no? Son momentos muy complicados y muchos de ellos están ahí confinados eh, sin poder ver a sus familias. ¿no? O sea que para mí, y estoy seguro de para los niños y niñas de, que están en la academia, que también eh, están sufriendo este impacto del, del coronavirus, pues eh, no pueden desarrollar su vida normal, pues tener el cariño y la atención de todos 